It sounds like that was your mantra then for maybe getting up in the morning and going somewhere that maybe wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't what your passion was, was what can I learn from this? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And what about times when people say, I just can't do this anymore? How do you know your breaking point? You had said there were times when you did have to walk away. I think that before you walk away from something, you wrestle with it a long time. And, uh, you know, you always have that moment where you sit quietly and talk to yourself and you say, what am I giving up if I leave? What am I gaining if I stay? What am I gaining if I leave? And you make your decision. And sometimes life steps in and tells you that it's time for you to go. Something happens, you know, in your life that says, oh, okay, I'm not supposed to be doing this anymore. And so you just kind of listen to it as you go along. Would you give yourself a time period? Let's say you accepted something that, again, wasn't horrible, but it wasn't where you wanted to be. Would you say, okay, I can do this for a year? I'm, that's never worked for me. No. I don't know why. I know other people say, in three years, I want to be here. And I, when I say that, it's like, oh my God, I put a pressure on myself that I can't possibly deal with. Oh, it's almost like I have to live it organically day to day and say, where am I today on this? You know, how, what do I want to be doing? Do I, do I still want to do this? Is this, you know, where I want to be? So it's not like I say in a year, I want to be doing this or that. And maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe that's why it takes me so long to do everything. I mean, eight years on a movie is a long time, but it, it's more organic for me. It's the way I work.